at the Frankfurt Cemetery in search of Daniel Boone. As well as trying to get some answers from this sign to uh, find the final destination of one cache, there's also a regular cache in this area as well. So let's see if we can make the find. It says we're in the right area. Might have to dig under some stones. The clue said it was near the yucca plant, so it must be around here somewhere. And there it is. Nice preform. A very rainy day for signing. <laughs> we got a beautiful view from over here of the Kentucky River and also in the distance you can see the capital. This is the old area of Frankfort, Kentucky. This is a statue of Governor William Gorbel who was assassinated in February 1900. As we move through the cemetery and still take in the beauty of the Kentucky River, we come to our next geocache that is called the Eternal Light Still Burning Bright. It may be private property right next to this Eternal Light, but the geocache is here for everyone to find. On this geocache, I have to pick up some uh, information off the reverse side of these great markers and it's in commemoration of Officer Kamak who paid the ultimate sacrifice as a police officer here in Kentucky. Well I've left the cemetery and one of the finals was to be found in a stone wall and so we'll take a quick look along here. Lots of little crevices in the walls there. Oh, and this thing is sticking out. What do we think? There you go. It's a cap and cap. Let's get it signed. Well, it's two days later. I'm still in pursuit of this uh, cache. I wanted to come back and uh, check the coordinates. This is called the Kentucky State Mound. In the shadows of the state mound is the resting place of the first American to raise the US flag on foreign soil at the Battle of Dern on the shores of Tripoli in 1805. Lieutenant Presley and O'Bannon, US Marine Corps. Always enjoy coming to Frankfurt, Kentucky to visit the grandkids and our son and always enjoy going to the downtown area. I don't know about poor Richard but this is one of my wife's favorite bookstores and yes it ends up poor Norman. Like I said earlier I uh, went back to the cemetery to just double check my coordinates and the answers I got off the sign and uh, it brought me to this place. This is the third time I've been to this place and I just cannot seem to spot it and then all of a sudden my geo senses kicked in and thought let's make it simple. I'm not going to show you where it is, I'll show you what size it is. My wife would say it's because I brought her and we made the find and there it is. Well, I'm glad I didn't go up there. Managed to make this sneaky find. And yes, Frankfurt is the state capital of Kentucky.